So first I'm going to show you how to edit wall type and create a new wall type like we did for the shed. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight one of my outside walls in my 3D view and I'm going to change it to be an exterior and I'll just go brick on metal stud. So that's going to change it and now I want to edit type and I want to duplicate because I don't want to change this one. I just want to make a new one. So I'm going to call this outside wall. Go ahead and hit OK. So now this is our type up here. It's in the basic wall family. That's fine. We want to edit our structure. So here's all the layers on the outside, our structure, and then the interior side. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of this thermal air layer so we can delete that and the membrane layer. Now I created a nice little document that actually shows you what the different um, wall types are. So let's go ahead and bring that up. All right, so here are our typical wall type sections from Revit, which is on Google Classroom for you. So we're going to do the typical outside wall with siding. So you can see we're going to have siding of a half inch so right now we have brick. We need to click in the material, click on the little dots. And if you don't have siding already created, which when I search, I don't have any, we need to create new material. So again, we're going to use the plus button at the bottom with the circle. Do create new material. Call this siding. And unlike the shed, we're actually going to just make this vinyl siding. So we want to use the render appearance. And then for the appearance tab, we actually want to go get the material. So we're going to hit the dancing boxes, and this brings up our appearance library. So we're going to click on appearance library. I'm going to open it up and click on the siding. So here's all different kinds of color. There's metal, there's gray, white, beige whatever you want wood like we used on the shed. I'm just going to go with horizontal white 4 inch siding. So I'm going to click the double arrows. That'll update it now as you can see on my other window. So again we've got our siding, our render appearance, and then there's our appearance. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. So now we have siding and I want my thickness to be a half inch. So type one half here. All right, so for the rest of it, then we have a half inch plywood, which it was three quarters. So we'll go ahead and change that to a half inch. So that's our outside of our core bounded. Then our interior is going to be our wall stud. And it's a five and a half inch at the exterior walls. So we want to change this again. Click on the little dots and we're going to type wood in here and see what it comes up with. So remember we have soft wood lumber, which is what we used before when we were dealing with our 2x4s and 2x6s. That looks good. You're not really going to see it because it's going to be in the wall. So we're going to hit OK, changes it to lumber, and again we want a 5 and a half inch, which is a 6 inch board, but the actual measurement is 5 and a half. All right, then we go down here, and we're going to have a gypsum wall board, so we can go ahead and get rid of this membrane layer. We don't need that. And we finish with a half-inch gypsum wall board. So we hit OK. So here's our outside wall. We've got our structure set, and we can hit OK. So now we have a basic outside wall. Let me click on that. So for the rest of them, we can go ahead and change that to our basic outside wall. So if we go around, do that, and you can highlight them all at the same time as well. So again, uh, basic outside wall. So if I look at that from floor plan, make sure that my arrows are to the outside. Otherwise, my siding will be in my house, not out. And now when I go to 3D view, go to realistic. Now I can see that I've got 
subsiding look to it. If I go a little bit finer, it also changes it. And on, on the inside is my gypsum wallboard, which is just kind of a gray-white color until we paint it. So that's my exterior. For the interior, we'd do the same thing. Instead, though, we wouldn't have siding. We would have gypsum wallboard, wall stood, gypsum wallboard. We'll do that one next. <laughs> 